Horicon Bank was planted in 1896, quite literally from a seed, or rather, a seed drill. Brothers George and Daniel Van Brunt invented and manufactured this ingenious farming tool that made planting seeds more efficient and them rich. It was wealth generated from the manufacturing of that invention in Horicon that led the Van Brunts to launch Horicon State Bank. The Van Brunt brothers realized that they needed a place for their employees to cash their paychecks. Well, start a bank. Why not? There's a need. Let's fulfill it. And I think that's kind of been our thing ever since then. If there's a need, let's find a way to, to fulfill that need. 125 years later, the institution, now known as Horicon Bank, has grown from a single location serving one community to a network of 21 branches covering an area from the Fox Valley North to the Metro Milwaukee area South, each with a common mission to make lives better and more secure. This is the story of Horicon Bank, a success story that is still being written. It's a story based in principles and integrity, built with commitment and compassion. When I describe how Horicon Bank cares for their customers, it is keeping a focus on the entire relationship with the customer and what that individual has for objectives and goals and not putting the bank's interests ahead of the customer's interest. With Horicon Bank, it's about the people. It's not about the numbers. Our mission is to care. That's the importance of keeping the person in mind. Before I started working at Horicon Bank, I would have said that all banks are exactly the same. Now knowing what goes into a bank and a banking relationship, I realize that that's not true. As an employee, what comes to mind? Fred Schwarfeger comes to mind, right? He's the uh, mastermind behind all of this. Fred F. Schwertfager has been leading Horicon Bank since he took over for his father when the former bank president retired in 1985. Fred's an energetic uh, visionary who uh, seeks opportunities for growth at every, every chance. He and the family and the, and the employees and employee owners have run a pretty solid organization. We enjoy working together. We, we really try to make Horicon Bank a place of, of happiness and a place of enjoyment in a place of productivity. Based on that, we will make lives better and more secure. Our depositors, our borrowers, our community that we live in. Many within the Horicon Bank family credit Fred F. Schwertfeger and the example he sets each day for the growth and success of the institution. And it all starts with, as he puts it, taking care of the bank's employees. He just cares and, and it trickles down through the entire organization. And, when I say it's truly a family, it's, it's what it is. It, we care about each other and, and you can feel it walking in the door. We feel like we belong there. It feels like a place where you fit in, where your ideas are listened to and that you're adding value. We still have over 225 employees who are just terrific people in their own rights. And, and I'm pleased to say I can call most of them my friends. He is very intentional about getting to know the employees at Horcom Bank, finding ways that he can pray for them, um, asking about their families, asking, you know, is that something I can pray for for you? I think when you have happy employees, you have happy customers. Then when you can enjoy coming every day, that translates to your customers and to the experience that you're going to give those customers when they walk in the door. Fred's father, Horicon lawyer Frederick R. Schwertfeger was part of the group that acquired Horicon State Bank in 1965 and served as its president for seven years. There's this video that Fred did in 1996 for our 100s. It's really cool because he is saying the same exact things that he says now. And it's really cool that the message has always been the same. You know, we don't necessarily change our message. It feels good to know that you know, that we have that support with our leadership and that, you know, they're committed for the long haul. There is a generational aspect of it and there's also a community aspect of it where Horicon Bank is represented in, in a lot of events, fundraisers, 
organizations, especially in Horicon, where we were rooted. You look at organizations in other communities too, your Kiwanis, your Rotary, your United Way, a lot of times you're going to find a Horicon banker within those organizations. When they're, they're giving back their expertise and their, their time, their love for their community, it, it not only it lives out our, our mission, but it, uh, it, it's a way to be more responsive as a bank to those needs. There's a saying at Horicon Bank that goes, we know where we're going, but we haven't lost sight of where we've been. For Horicon Bank, that means reflecting on 125 years of supporting the communities in which they do business, caring for the families who bank and work here, and looking to the future to be prepared to meet new needs and challenges. It's important to look back at your history, to see where you've been, but to also help shape where you're going. We've learned from our history at Horicon Bank that being faithful to the, the purpose that we have, which is to uh, be a community bank and to work with depositors and borrowers in the community, we can be successful. And we have, by and large, uh, been blessed by God to achieve success in those measurements. From the start, Horicon Bank has made supporting the community a priority. That commitment led Horicon Bank and the Schwertfeger family in 2021 to donate $1.25 million to the Horicon School District toward the construction of a new outdoor athletic stadium. A good bank gives back to the community. We involve ourselves in our communities to help those communities get better. My personal opinion, we don't do it for the splash. We do it because it's what we're about. Horicon Bank employees are also encouraged to go out of their way to know their customers personally. A good bank knows people by, by name. Horicon Bank cares about their communities, they care about their employees, they care about their customers. It's not uh, a slogan hanging on the wall. I think it's difficult for the bigger banks. I'm sure they know some of their customers where I would like to think we know almost all of our customers. We're in a large area, but when you walk into a branch, you get the same feeling no matter what. One of the bank's foundational principles is taken from the Bible and the book of Exodus, where instruction is given to select leaders who are people of truth, who also hate covetousness. That is a part of Horicon Bank, is not to be so aggressive and approach money in a way that is greedy or puts us off balance. So we use the word respect as a positive virtue that we want to show generosity of spirit to people and not kind of push our agenda on them, but, but be responsive to their needs. People living in Wisconsin and across the Upper Midwest are familiar with the Horicon Marsh, one of the region's natural treasures. What those same people may not be aware of is the support that Horicon Bank provides for marsh preservation and education. The marsh is our natural asset in Horicon, and it's a part of our identity. And we know a lot of geese know where it is, and we'd like to have more people know how enjoyable the marsh can be for hunting, for fishing, for scenery, uh, for birding, and for uh, just a natural experience. In fact, the marsh and Horicon Bank are so closely related that the tagline, the natural choice, has been adopted by the bank, which also features the marsh's number one inhabitant, the Canadian goose. We talk a lot about our core virtues that we have, you know, capability, honesty, respect, and energy. You know, all of these things working together, the virtues aren't just something that we talk about on occasion or something that, you know, only our se senior leadership, you know, thinks these are things that we're doing. We really live these things every day. When the bank turned 125 years old, the entire community was invited to join in the celebration. It says much about Horicon Bank that hundreds of people from the area flock to a local park to join the festivities. The thing about Fred is he can throw a really good party. My favorite Horicon Bank day memory was that night we all just paused from everything we were cleaning up and all of us bankers went and just rode at the carousel. 
Fred described it the next day as magical, and he was right. It truly was. It was the invention of the seed drill that generated the first assets for Horicon State Bank when it was launched in 1896. Now, 125 years later, few people from that era would recognize the modern facilities and advanced technologies supporting a growing list of 21 bank branches. But while the infrastructure may look different, remaining is the single element that has been there from the start. An unparalleled commitment to employees, customers, and the communities Horicon Bank serves. As a bank, we've really tried to stay true to what got us here in the first place, and that's, that's the relationships, that's being involved in our communities, giving back to our communities, and really taking care of our employees. I don't know how I couldn't be proud of an organization that feels that way and really works hard to do that. Every day, I have the opportunity to change somebody's life. Those things that seem simple to some are life-altering to others. So each day you got to choose to embrace it and to really go in with the mindset that we're going to make a difference. We have the opportunity to help people have a better life and to have financial security and I think that's why we're here. I think there are many like us who really want to take our, our banking services to really uh, touch people, to, to love people through our, our service. We're serving people and, and that is part of our, uh, our calling to, to love others.